I'm gonna cry, really. Sorry, I'm fine. This is what breaking someone's heart must be like. Oh, vegans, the internet's punching bag. I mean, over the last 10 years, the hate for vegans has actually gotten kind of insane. And it doesn't even really make sense because the people who make fun of vegans are literally doing the same exact thing that they make fun of vegans for doing. All the stereotypes about how they try to force their diet onto other people, that is what people who are attacking vegans are doing. They're berating somebody for not eating the same things they do. Just like they say vegans are wrong, for doing. And being a person who is quite close to many vegans and know that they are not all terrible people, like the vegan teacher would have you believe, I have taken it upon myself to try and change at least some part of the internet's perception about vegans. Which is why I'm doing a part two to my vegans eat meat for the first time video. Because, well, they ate more meat. Because I honestly think that it has been lost on most people that majority of vegans are normal, open-minded people. They're not all like that vegan teacher and vegan gains. But before before we begin our journey into this culinary experience, I want to talk about how you can make your culinary experience better through today's video sponsor, MealMe. Now, MealMe is a mobile app that allows you to optimize your food delivery experience to save the most time and money possible. It compares all of the fees for the major food delivery services to find the best deal for what you're trying to order. Now, if you're like me and you spend what I would consider an irresponsible amount on food delivery, you need to download this app. Living in a college town, it is sometimes just just not worth it to try and get out and fight the traffic, especially on game days. So I find myself ordering food a lot. And I tried this app out, and it seriously works. So far, I've placed three orders through MealMe, and after comparing it to the normal delivery app I use, I've saved about $20 over those three orders. And the delivery time was noticeably quicker than what I usually get. I was honestly kind of surprised to see just how big of a difference it made. They advertise that you can expect about $6 of savings and 20 minutes of save time on average, and I've gotten that or more every time. So I definitely recommend that you guys check out MealMe and try it out for yourself. So I'm gonna have a download link in the description so you guys can start saving some money and some time. But with that being said, let's begin. Please subscribe. Sorry, I'm fine. This is why I don't eat meat. Okay, so we're already kind of off to a worse start than the last one. Um, is that a heart? Yeah, I'm a pretty avid meat eater, and I don't think I could eat a heart, so, uh, I don't think being vegan has anything to do with that. So today I'm gonna try pork meat. I have been vegetarian coming up to about six years now, I think. Uh, I've been a vegetarian three and a half years. So, I'm very scared. Okay, so I gotta be honest, I hate pork rinds. The smell alone is enough to make me feel sick. I really don't see how anybody eats them. By far one of the worst meat-based foods in my opinion. It looks like some sort of crisp. Cracklin. Is that crackling? Like a fried kind of thing, like the skin, right? This little piggy went to the market. Um, excuse me. Is that a, uh, a cooked face of a pig sitting next to them? That's just a little bit morbid, don't you think? I mean, I guess it's really no worse than them having like a pork chop sitting next to them, but still, I don't want to look at that. This little piggy dead at home. This is really like popcorn. With a kind of a salty taste. Like, it's not that bad. It's not like, oh, I cannot taste this. Oh my god. It doesn't smell pleasant. It tastes better than it smells, actually. I kind of don't feel as guilty as other stuff because it doesn't look like meat very much. What is that? <laughs> All right, so I guess we're keeping the same theme as the last video. We are trying to keep these vegans vegan. I mean, seriously, give them some decent food. I'm gonna be honest, I never really thought of humans eating pig ears before this video. I always just kind of thought of them as snacks for dogs. These vegans are more open-minded than I am. I don't know if I could bring myself to eat a pig ear. This is a meat? Really? It looks like an... Modern art piece. I like the way you made it all like pretty with the with the greens and stuff. God, feeling nervous, feeling like I'm disappointing my entire family. This is so disgusting, really. It's robbery. It's really robbery. Oh, oh. it's not like I eat plastic every day, but it really feels like plastic. This is ear. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I can't imagine an ear of any sort would be very good tasting. It's just cartilage and collagen. I mean, there's really no flavor there, right? It'd be like eating a boot. I don't like the idea behind it. I don't like... Oh, I don't like any of this. 
Okay, so I know that tongue is something that people eat quite regularly. I've had cow tongue before. But they could not have possibly made this look more disgusting. This quite honestly looks like a decaying xenomorph baby. It doesn't even look like it came from Earth. Peppa Pig. Am I touching it? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Um... I don't know. I thought it was like the knee, but this is not a bone. Oh my god, it, it's the- it's the anus! She could not be further from the correct answer. No, I'm being serious. Those are literally the two farthest points away from each other. Is this tongue? Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm nervous now. Um, back up. Did that woman just soil her pants? I know y'all heard that. <laughs> I'm sorry, pig. This is not right. How is their tongue so big? It's very tough. The texture is much tougher. Like, even if you're not vegetarian, like, why you're gonna eat the tongue? Jesus Christ. Every second, my theory is growing stronger. This has got to be some sort of vegan organization trying to get on the fence vegans to stay vegan. Why don't they feed them something good like a pork chop or a rib? A pulled pork sandwich? Why are you feeding them pig's feet and hearts? With an oink oink here and an oink oink. Ah! This is literally just fat on a bone. And there's like some hair here. Mmm, so delicious. Oh, it's his foot! It's his whole foot! Where has he walked? Am I gonna put like what this pig has walked on into my mouth? Oh, oh god, I just broke his toe! That's horrible. I hate it. The tongue and the toe have been the worst so far because you, you can you can clearly see what what they are. They're they're like a whole body part. This video is kind of unfair because they are purposefully cooking these things poorly. I mean, I've seen most of these pig parts be cooked before, and they just don't look like this. I mean, it honestly looks like they boiled this head and then stomped on it. It's like they're purposefully trying to get a visceral reaction by cooking it badly. There's, there's a lot of fat involved in these things. <laughs> like, this one smells really, really bad. It looks like sh It looks like pig sh <laughs> <laughs> Can I use like that? Just because it smells really bad. It's really strong, really strong flavor. It's not bad, it's not bad. For some reason it tastes familiar. I honestly don't think I could bring myself to eat the heart of something. It just seems wrong. It's like eating a brain. I know that's so dumb because it's just another part of the animal, but I don't think I could mentally make myself do it. Uh, you're breaking my heart right now. <laughs> I can't, sorry, I can't. This is, this is not right. This is just unfair. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, really. Sorry, I'm fine. This is what breaking someone's heart must be like. <laughs> so sorry about being crying. God, why couldn't we do like vegetarians test takes McDonald's or something? It's actually not that bad. If you didn't know, if you didn't know anything. I'm just, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel really, really rotten for a few days. My stomach feels like one big giant mistake. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine that eating pig ear, pig tongue, and then topping it off with some pig head would be very nice on the digestive system. It's not gonna be a fun night for these three. Well, this video has left me with a strange mixture of never wanting to eat again and a slight hunger. Explain that, science. I thought the food in the last video was bad. I'm scared to see what they would eat if there was a third one. They'd probably make them kill the animal themselves. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.